An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. So critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, few egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the fullest. Hello everybody, I'm just wanting to kind of show off my uh, my setup a little bit. And um, kind of take you through a little tour. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, coming in clear. Uh, it's a kick-ass setup. It's kind of, you know, the beginnings of many amazing things to come, I'm sure. PSEC is going to a new level. I am looking forward to where this is set up. Anyway, I'm going to hand it over to Dave and let him show you the ground floor setup he has the control over. Yep, um, PSEC, which is uh, short for Paradigm Shift in Educational Comedy, um, as uh, some of you may know, we do uh, Google Hangouts and stuff like that, along with, you know, documentary videos and so on and so forth. With um, the assistance of JP at Will Spirit Radio, we already did a couple of tests of the um, Skype uh, Google Hangout simulcast, and, you know, we were on uh, Will Spirit and Revolution Radio and a few other places, um, OspreyNet, um, you know, Osprey Radio with Eli and all that, Eli Sanford, and it was pretty cool, um, successful test runs, and long story short, um, ended up hooking up with, uh, Chris Geo of Truth Frequency Radio, and, um, he really kind of, kind of liked the idea with what I got going on here, and, uh, you know, end result being that, uh, we got a time slot now that's going to be uh, starting in, in, in a week or two here. And um, I'll give all the, the uh, information for that out in public. That's not the focus of this video right now. The focus of this video is my little, uh, my little studio slash geek setup here, you might say. Because right now, we are in what you might call radio studio mode with this. Obviously, you know... You can see we got four screens going on here. Um, all these different systems are obviously multi-purpose. It really kind of depends on, on what I'm doing at the time. So, <laughs> this is my home office right here. And, you know, I got the cool blue LED lights. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I got a really kick-ass, uh, you know, custom case down there with the lighting and so on and so forth. So, it's pretty slick. And you can see that it's that system right there, and that's the desktop system. And with that, I am logged in to the Google Hangout on, on this system. And um, thanks to um, Chris Geo, and I really appreciate him for this. I got this really, really badass, awesome microphone here. Um, it's like a $150 mic that was on sale for like uh, 53 bucks. I did do a test in Audacity, and it was like freaking clear as a bell. Everybody else says it's clear as a bell, so that's cool. With my little geek setup here, I've got um, all sorts of compatibility from old school to new school. Um, this right here, this is my LS120 drive, so it'll do LS120 discs and regular floppy discs. Then at the bottom here, I got my SideQuest uh, Spark one gig drive, and I got a bunch of disks and stuff for that. I've got my uh, zip drive here. Um, that one is a zip 100, but I also have a 
my Zip 250 tuck, tucked away over here. I got a bunch of a bunch of other drives kind of hiding behind the screen. So when that laptop lid is closed, there's a bunch even more drives there. This is a Geiger counter right here, actually, that I haven't hooked up yet. Um, Jay Larson gave that to me. Um, it requires a serial port. I want to make it more portable, so I actually ordered a um, a uh, serial PCM CIA card to pop in there to make that a bit more portable. Because um, uh, you know, um, I was able to opt out on on the smart meters and stuff, thank God. But um, you know, even my neighbor next door has got a smart meter, and you know, we could go into her backyard anytime. She doesn't care. We're like really good neighbors and everything. So I, I want to. You know, people always talk about how, how the smart meters give off all sorts of radiation and stuff. I want to test that theory for myself. Anyway, then above that, this little slim guy right here, that's my reads and writes, like, freaking everything drive. I mean, DV, even DVD, RAM, Blu-ray rewritable, everything like that. Slick little drive. Um, over here, on the bottom, on the, on the bottom there, um, that's USB 3 on the top. That's USB 2. This is my my scanner, and this wireless keyboard here goes to that top screen here, and this is the Truth uh, Frequency Radio um, host configuration screen there. So, you know, um, if I was actually live on the air at the moment, um, that's the screen I'd be able to use to you know see the calls are coming in and so on and so forth, and dealing with that, and, you know, just setting up the show and putting in all the information, all that stuff, so it's a really pretty slick, modern, you know, innovative 21st century interface that Chris Geo coded himself, so that's pretty slick. Um, on my main desktop system here, I'm running uh, Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu Linux, pretty cool, um, and you know, this keyboard and that mouse goes to that. This is also my file server, by the way. I got a 22 terabyte file server there, so pretty slick. Um, always adding more space when I can, of course. And um, that keyboard is normally, like, tucked down under there, and I could, like, you know, pull it out when I need it and stuff. But I just have it sitting out there right now for the moment, because obviously if I'm, like, in immediate use of it, to where I'm, I'm continuing to, you know, go back and forth using it, then it's convenient to put it there, and then I could just move it from my lap to there, back and forth, but when I'm not really using it, then, you know, it tucks away down there, and it's all good. Um, this system here is running Ubuntu Netbook, a uh, little bit of an older version of, of Ubuntu, but um, it's actually pretty slick the way it's laid out, and I just want to zoom in and take a closer look at the interface. Um, I got the box open for the uh, the technical call data, which um, Chris Gio says it's a really good idea to have um, that open because apparently, um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but see where it says code C, uh, Silk version 3? Well, Silk and Opus are the, are the really good quality um, code Cs or code X, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're, they're, that's the good stuff to use for the high quality signal. But, um, there's another one that's like G83A4, some crazy thing, I don't remember what the heck it was, it's a really weird name. That's like the crappy, uh, phone quality, uh, sort of a signal. So, he was explaining that, um, you know, make sure you have all, all your good quality connections coming into Skype first, and anything that's dealing with phones or whatever, have that coming into Skype last, you know, add that last, and... If any of the good quality um, connections drop, then you're just going to want to drop everything on the entire conference and just reload and put that back through. Because if a good quality connection drops and you just reconnect that, but the last connection you made was like, you know, the crappy code C quality, then the entire broadcast is going to like completely degrade to dog poo. So, you know, it's just not a good idea. And I didn't know that about Skype. So, you know, you learn something new every day. So, obviously, there's the Skype interface. You can see I'm going to call with them there. Um, it's muted, obviously. Normally, it wouldn't be, you know, muted if we're on the air and whatever. But um, it's muted to prevent feedback because we, um, for, the, for the purposes of this video, we wanted to demonstrate the full 
you know, video, audio, everything cross-linked, you know, the, the whole thing. And we wanted to do that without, you know, the Pandora's box of, you know, us feeding back into ourselves and, you know, having some nasty oscillation going on, because that would really suck, so, um, we don't want to do that. So, here's, you know, my Skype contact list window. You know, here's my sound settings window with all the tabs and stuff, output volume, input volume, sound effects, hardware, input, output applications, so on. And, um, this system here is running, uh, Linux Mint, which is also based on Ubuntu, you know, just like I mentioned before. So this laptop's running that too. And this is the one that is hosting the, um, the Google Hangout, whereas, of course, this one is hosting Skype. And what we have done, the um, the mic goes to the speaker, and vice versa. You know, so the mic on this is going to the speaker on this, speaker on this is going to the mic on that. And so, we see the two plugins there. So you got the, the little plug and the big plug, and it's reversed on this side. Big plug, little plug. So... This is what allows that connection to function. I really, really hope that um, this is going to inspire some other, you know, internet radio people and whatever to, con to uh, consider doing a similar setup, because the benefits of that is you can then bring in guests through Google Hangout, and, you know, your audience then has the, uh, the option of video. And, um, you know, then people can see you, see your guests, um, so on and so forth. So, it's actually pretty slick. <laughs> There's a little figurine back there that's, uh, that's Fence Witch. Um, <laughs> you can look up Fence Witch on Google and find out about that. My friend Desiree made that. And, of course, uh, that thing right there is for burning incense, because I like burning incense. I like the way that smells, so that's, uh, just a preference. And this right here, this, this picture, that's a picture of me when I was in kindergarten. And I had that there to remind myself to not take everything so damn seriously. You know, to just lighten up and chill out and, you know, not, not take things too seriously. Because if you do that, you end up completely neurotic and that's just not cool. Okay, so now here I am kind of in the, in the sitting down position on that so we can it's, it's interesting because <laughs> it's like the camera is is that way so when I video into there you're kind of seeing like the side of my my face and stuff and you can actually see me holding the camera now you can see me you can see the front of the camera now as opposed to the back of it so there's my my office couch uh, behind me there. Um, you know, my little bit of lighting up on on the wall there, but I also got uh, some electrical and, and networking wire run and stuff because I got the entire house, you know, wired with uh, voice over IP phone and uh, you know gigabit networking, you know, RJ45, all that. I'll try to zoom in a better. So yeah, you can kind of see, see that in the background there. So there's some of my network infrastructure for the house. Got the whole house wired, so it's pretty cool. You can see that there. Move over that way. And of course, if Rich starts talking, it should pop up his screen instead of mine. Yeah, it's quite the, it's done quite the setup. It's actually a great pleasure to be a part of this whole thing. Uh, you know, hello again. You know, talking yeah. from the other side. Um, is there any way you could show us your setup? Because I know you've got like a two monitor like crazy setup going on over there. Is there is there any way to do that or would that be like an incredible like bitch for you to Like is that camera like detachable and can can like show or what? No, it's hooked up on a cable and it's balanced on top of my screen. Yeah. But yeah, it's a dual screen setup. I mean, you know, I got my uh, 20 yeah. cent, 20 inch uh Asus monitor, and then I got my big 27-inch Asus monitor. You could you could always just send me the uh, the picture, and I could superimpose that when I render down the video. 
I could I could just stick it in this video. So you know when uh, when we are on air and, and and stuff like that, it's just it's going to be really interesting, and you're going to see me having to pay attention to four freaking screens, because um up here, I mean I'll probably have a few other things loaded in in tabs and stuff on on this system here, like uh you know the uh the truth frequency radio you know chat room. I'm sure I'm going to be curious to see if there's anybody going to be popping in there, so I'll probably have that open in a tab, so I'll be going through, like, you know, like different tabs and stuff on here, and then I'll have to be uh, paying attention to, to what's going on, on on the host screen for the, you know, the connection um, to that, and then I'll have to be paying attention to all the Skype connections and make sure making sure everything is remaining connected, not dropping or anything crazy like that, and then, you know, here's the you know, the, the controls for the, uh, here, let me just kind of move that. You can see there's, like, a whole, you know, control panel thing with, uh, with the hangouts and stuff. It's, you know, it's pretty cool, so. I'm going to be dealing, dealing with four screens worth of, uh, <laughs> worth of controls and paying attention to stuff, so it's like, I, I really do feel like I'm in a freaking studio right now, like, with... You know, just with all with all this around me and all the, all the controls and stuff that uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to deal with and be paying paying attention to it. Really, just kind of gives this uh the studio look and feel. It's pretty sweet. Of course, when I am on air, I'm going to be having these babies on right here. Headphones, obviously. Um, obviously. I have them off right now because I don't need them on, but obviously when I'm on the air there would be the risk of, you know, feedback and, and things like that, so I would be definitely wearing my headphones kind of like Rich is wearing his right now there, so, yeah. Like I said, it's a it's a pleasure to be a part of it and uh, be a part of this undertaking, this kind of pioneering piece of hardware and to be doing something that's really creative and yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool to, you know, be allying with uh, Truth Frequency Radio Network and, you know, the, the, the PSEC crew kind of becoming a, a surrogate part of, you know, the Truth Frequency crew, so to speak, and, you know, it's a really good group of people and there's not all the drama and the ego games and, and things like that, and it's just, you know, I feel, you know, really lucky to... Uh, to be able to be a part of that, and as far as I know, no one's done anything quite like this, to where it's like a radio show that is basically a Google Hangout being broadcast as a radio show, in order to give like the full multimedia experience, because people are going to be able to hit that up on um, 90.7 FM in Denver, <laughs> um, going to be able to hit that up through internet radio and other, you know, all the different places that on the internet that it's syndicated through. Uh, there's other like AM and FM stations all over the place that it's it's indicated through, and plus now you know YouTube. <laughs> we got the you know the whole uh, it just full multimedia robust you know experience. And as far as I know, this is the first time anybody has done anything quite like this. I mean, if anybody out there knows anybody else doing something like this, and maybe they did it before me, and I just don't know about it. You know, they can they can feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, obviously, but as far as I know, uh, this is the first time anybody's, you know, dabbled in something like this, so it's cool. I mean, just, you know, internet radio, full video multimedia on YouTube, you know, AM, FM, and in various places, you know, where those stations are available, so I mean, it's like the full gamut of options. It's, it's really neat to just have all these different modes of compatibility, um, you know, to work with that are just kind of simultaneous and, you know, people got their choice of, of, you know, whatever floats their boat, you know, whatever interface is better for people, they can just, they can just go ahead and, um, you know, pick what they like better and follow it. Yeah. Pretty cool, and um, I look forward to, to rolling with this, and have a lot of fun. See everybody around, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and you know, um, have a wonderful day.